When you think of vision, you may think that it's all taking place in the eyes, but most of the work is actually being done in the brain. It's at least theoretically possible to bypass broken eyes, broken optic nerves that don't work in blind patients and put the information directly into the brain. When I was approximately seven years old, I started sustaining pretty uh, traumatic headaches. Uh, wasn't exactly sure what they were. Took some time um, going to multiple doctors. Found out that it was pediatric glaucoma. On September 18th, 1992, I was at school uh, and it went completely black. If you can imagine every spot in the visual field, in the visual world, there's a corresponding part of the brain that represents that area, that spatial location. And we know that if we stimulate someone's brain, the back of their brain in a specific spot, we will produce a perception of a spot of light corresponding to that map in the visual world. So imagine if we had electrodes implant in the brain. The idea is if we cleverly stimulate the individual spots in the brain with electrodes, we can actually reproduce visual forms like pixels on an LCD on a computer. We could recreate images and thereby a camera could be worn by a blind patient and the camera would capture the visual world in front of that patient and then it would translate that information to a series of spots and then a little computer would deliver that information to an electrode array in the brain and turn on precisely the parts of the brain that represent those spots and recreate visual images. That's, that's the dream, a very exciting dream. And we're taking for the first time ever steps that are meaningful in that direction. So we're now doing what's called visual field mapping. And that process is designed in such a way to where when I look at something with the glasses on, I will actually be able to decipher where it's at and approximately the size and you know things of that nature. At this point, it's just arranging it in a way that my brain is going to see things the way that they're supposed to appear. And that's what we are working on now. So I always tell these patients they're like astronauts flying to the moon. They're taking bold steps to see not only if the device can help them as individuals, but if it can help the community of blind patients across the world. And what we've already been able to show is that subjects, when we turn on the device, we're able to create percepts of spots of light that I talked about before, corresponding to that visual map in the visual world and that they can use these in a useful way. And we have a task, for example, a square localization task, where the subject sits in front of an LCD screen and a square pops up at the screen at random locations. And the subject's job is to point to where the square is. And when we turn the device on, the subjects are really quite good at accurately pointing to where that screen is. It's been exciting because every time I come here, I get to see something. It may not be full vision yet, but it's something. And for somebody that hasn't seen anything in 25 and a half years, that is a huge accomplishment. And I know with every fiber in my being that we're going to be successful in doing uh, groundbreaking medicine.